It's Tuesday the 10th of April. Um, why have winter losses been so high this year? Well, today it's absolutely freezing again. It's blowing again outside and it's raining. Yesterday was an absolute beautiful day. Down here in the Queen Raving training apparel that we're setting up, it was 19 degrees at some times of the day. Up in the top of power, it got up to 17, um, probably 16 degrees. But the big question is, um, a lot of people have been in contact and they've been having major, major winter losses. A friend of mine further down south, I think he's going to average out about 80% losses. Um, a lot of people have been 50, 60% losses. And, and what they're telling me is that the hives, they've got stores, they've been grow treated, um, they've gone through some of the dead bees and done an alcohol wash on those, and the mite levels have been fairly low or w within within a, a, a tolerable standard um, as the mite levels. So what is it? It's like this is from one of my dead outs. Um, as you can see, it's it's full of funny. This is a typical of what people are saying. The, the hives, are, they're being dry, um, so there have been no mould. So there's not really been a reason why these hives have been dying off. One thing I've been looking at over the last ooh, three, four years now, is every hive that I've had died out, I've gone through it, I've documented every single frame, what stores it's had on it, um, how many bees have, have been in there, uh, the the rural counts going into winter, the rural counts when they've died off, uh, if the hive's been damp or not, uh, where the actual hive is, the direction it's facing, and the typical daytime and nighttime temperatures and humidity that we've been having. Now there's one key point that I've been finding um, with all these hives over the last three or four years now. And that point is there's been no pollen in the hive or there's been very little pollen in the hive. I've gone through frame after frame after frame and to be honest, this year I lost 10, 15 hives in total. Um, I have quite a few that is. And out of all those frames that I went through, I think you could fill a tablespoon with the amount of pollen that was in all those hives. Now, a lot of people say bees don't need pollen going into winter or going through winter. Uh, they need it in spring and that's why we put pollen patties on. I'm starting to think now along the lines of the hives that have all died, they've not had pollen. They need some protein in there. It just depends how much protein these hives actually need, but I, I definitely think now that these hives need protein going through the winter. Um, it's always been said that they don't need protein, they just need carbohydrates because they need to avoid the, uh, and go out and defecate into the bees. So, well, so be it if the bees need to go out and defecate. The hives that have come through and they've been bursting strong on that first inspection those hives have, have got a lot of good pollen stores in there and this is before there's been actually any pollen getting brought into the hives when I've managed to get into those hives so I definitely think times are changing and come winter time this year we're going to be feeding a lot more pollen substitutes we're going to be feeding back a lot more pollen that we've collected in pollen traps back to the bees uh, and see if that actually helps as they say it's, it's not been dampness it's definitely not been for the lack of stores it's not been for varroa and mites it's not been because of failing queens um, because going into, into these queens that have been in the, those hives I've documented them and they've been laying great guns and they've got in as nice big strong colonies the colony that this came from went through winter or went into winter on double brood um, I'd say it had a good 17 frames of bees going into winter 
and a really good queen and it was that year's queen as well so it definitely wasn't a feeling queen why these problems actually occurred in that hive but every single frame that were left behind looked like this one um, nice honey stores, nice capped off, nice and dry, not a single cell and I do mean that in that double hive, not a single cell with any pollen in and with the cells that I've been through as well uh, and I put them under the microscope um, it's not been, there's not been a great deal of pollen actually in there so the, there's not been a lot of pollen mixed in with the honey that they've capped off either so they've gone through winter with a lot of carbohydrates and little or none uh, protein so as i say next season is going to be a big change if you've not already subscribed uh, click on that subscribe button um, we're going to be starting to do what i'm hoping to be a daily vlog come may time once we can get out there and with the bees and there's something really interesting for you to see as we're going through the bees doing the different inspections. Uh, we're still going to be doing our more down in details videos, doing the splits and the, the whole queen rearing series that, that we've already started. We're still going to be doing them, but these are going to be added extras, basically what are going to be our, our days um, going through the week.